in his return. I know you've got to love that, Brendan. I do love it, and you've got two of the original coaches tonight, which is pretty special, and one in the booth. So all we're missing is Coach Stapleton, and he was earlier today with the Slashers. The Rumble coming out in the green. The Buzzsaw coming out in the gray. We start with a throwdown. Bodies clearing out, and it's Howard coming away with the ball. How about that for a start for the Buzzsaw? Got him on bounce differential right out of the gates. Kalen Tippins Hill. He's been the offense for the Rumble. They're going to take a shot from the outside. Jaton, Jaton Williams. Yeah, that's part of their offensive strategy, and they can live and die sometimes by the threes and fours. I'd like to see the Rumble get in the slam zone a little bit more and mix it up down low with the stopper. How about that slam? Jamal Barnes Jr. all up in your grill. I love this. Coach Carter said we will shoot more than anybody, but yet they have the worst shooting percentage at 39%. So that's going well. Well, it's a far, the four pointers far. It's almost two feet farther than NBA three. Williams batted away by Tyquan Scott. Quickly to the way. Here is Bellamy with the windmill. Hello. The Buzzsaw have come out ready to play. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their energy level. They want that number two seed. Loose ball recovered by the Rumble. Washington on that island. Resets into the scoring zone off the window. Nice little touch around the rim. Good for two. We talked about the, the playoff seats. Buzzsaw control their own destiny. If they win all four, they get the second seat. That's exactly right. And we were practice partners with the Buzzsaw. And I know Hernando Planels wants that two seat. That buy is so critical when you head to the playoffs to rest bodies and to uh, prepare strategy for the semifinals. It is defense optional tonight. Both teams going right back at each other. This is going to be a high scoring game. You can already tell. Washington, he can shoot from the outside. They're going to leave him open and just rimmed out. Howard gets by his man, enters from the wing. Gets the stopper off the wood, finds the cutter in Bellamy. Bellamy, through the contact, gets his own rebound, resets off the wall. Shot clock's down, it's at four. Barnes Jr. takes a four. Washington bounced down into the bottom tramp. He had Scott all up in his face. Scott is such a good stopper down there. I mean, even when the buzzsaw's offense isn't completely clicking, they're still very difficult to beat because Ty can clean up everything down there. All right, here's the return of Bakari Copeland. Number six in green. He's been missing a ton of action. Just missed that hit there as Taylor finds the cutter. Abdul Hawk, and we do have a foul. Yeah, Tamirik swiped down on the ball and made a dangerous play. The refs felt, and that's what that face-off is right there, a swipe down. So we have our first face-off of the game. Malik Abdulhaq at six foot seven out of Seattle, Washington, go on one-on-one -on -one against Tamirik Field, six seven out of Augusta, Georgia. Abdulhaq, thank you very much. Yeah, so far out of the gates, the Buzzsaw have done a really good job of just making sure they absolutely assault the stopper in a lot of different ways. You've seen wing cuts work, bounce differential work, and they've got him from outside. Taylor finds Abdul Hawk. Fumbling with the ball, loose ball, he'll get it back. Abdul Hawk couldn't handle that one. Coming the other way is to Myrick Fields. Fields has, no, he just missed Tippins Hill. Taylor. And there's the new pickup, Jace Bass, wearing number eight for the buzzsaw. Bounce down, Fields, smooth move with the left. And that's what you want to see the Rumble do a little more of, which is just get inside the slam zone and try to get some easy points in there. Sometimes they rely on the three and four just a little bit too much. Pushed in the back, that's going to be another foul against Fields. He's not happy because that's the second personal now. That's going to be a violation in the bonus. Two points awarded to the buzzsaw. Yeah, that's actually two different violations. Hit in the back and full arm extension. That was good. Tippins Hill, can he get going here? 
cutting his field, but the pass was a little too low. Buzzsaw have the breakout. This is Bass finding Taylor, and Abdul Hawk as they clear out. It is all Buzzsaw to start here in this first quarter. Hawk did a great job coming in on that wing cut. And coach, like you were saying earlier, get that stopper off balance and have options underneath the hoop. Tipping tail, flying in for three. I'm excited to see Jace Bass. I talked to him before the game. He's got the ball right now. This is his first game. Super excited. He was a, a Super 24 guy. And here he is for the first time tonight, off injury, ready to go. 22 seconds to play here in this first quarter. Fields rejected by Taekwon Scott. Abdul Hawk with the shot clock turned off. He can hold for the final shot, but he's in attack mode. And two buzzsaw in the bottom tramp turnover. Yeah, the buzzsaw like to run a lot of wing cutters, so that happens sometimes if the timing isn't perfect. Tippins Hill, the timing is on point to Williams. And that's how the first quarter will end. The Rumble make a nice little comeback. They're down by five after one. The buzzsaw offense was clicking there in that first quarter. Jamal Barnes Jr. just throwing it down on somebody's head. Start moving so he moves and then we go. You know what I mean? We do that stuff and we're fine. Other than that, Continue, continue. I'll get that set group going, all right? Come on. Welcome back to the start of the second quarter. Now, three points were taken off the board for the Rumble because a dunk actually never happened. We took a look at it, and it looked like it went through, but it actually stopped short of the rim. So off replay, no bucket. A popcorn violation against the buzzsaw. Here comes the Rumble the other way. Tippins Hill was stripped. Williams from the wing. So two rumble in the bottom trim. That's a violation. Buzzsaw get it back. Howard, bounce down. Looks like you could sell on that island, but kept going underneath the bucket. Barnes Jr., nothing doing. There's Williams, sky and high. Nobody even jumped with him. Yeah, great decision to attack right there. He read the stopper the whole way, saw he didn't honor his attack, and immediately went to the rim. A two-hand illegal contact. That was called against Bakari Copeland. So that's going to force a face-off here in the second quarter. And this, again, we talked about it, is so huge. When you have a face-off this early in a quarter, now the buzz are going to get violation points for every single violation here on it. Small Barnes Jr. goes up against Bakari Cook. No, they're going to say... Oh! Victorious Dean was on the back end of that one. Yeah, Jamal Barnes, lots of energy. This team sometimes wins or loses predicated on his energy. So seeing him up and ready to play is a great sign for the bus side. Barnes, killed, bounced by Copeland. And a violation into the stopper's box, so the buzzsaw lose the rock. Fields, cross-court pass. Trying to finish at the rim is victorious Dean for two. Yeah, the Rumble are so long. They're the longest, most athletic team in the league, so they don't need a lot of bounce to get up sometimes and dunk. Taken by Tippins Hill. Freestyle through the legs and jams it home. Watch out, don't get him started. Oh, the hits are coming. Bellamy missing the put in. Here comes Fields. It's takeoff time to Myrick Field. Put that on a poster. Incredible finish. And do you think the Rumble understand that their playoff hopes are on the line? Bellamy right back at him. 
was a one-hand windmill against a 6'7", 245-pound dude. So the stopper can't jump out of the stopper's box. Talk about coming in with authority. One-handed against the monster, the second pick in the draft, and throws it down. Kaylin Tippett Hill, one on one in this faceoff against Tyquan Scott. Coach, we got. I got Ty Scott. Okay. All Katie. day long, all day long, baby. I think Tippett Hill might get this one. Hey! You got it, John. You know that was the thing. I think in midair, Tyquan Scott realized he was starting to drift, and he kind of pulled away. He didn't want to get called, so he kind of. You'll see it right here. He goes up, starts drifting forward. And just gave it to And him. that's the right thing to do. This, there's a gentleman's agreement in this game where if you're drifting, you just go ahead and let it go. You don't want an injury to happen by grabbing somebody when you're drifting. It feels like the Rumble have the momentum right now. Oh, no doubt. But I, Hernando Planels is such a great coach. He and Sandy Fletcher. I have absolutely no doubt that the Buzzsaw are going to get going here again on offense. Fields freestyling. Can't finish at the rim. Bakari Copeland was up. And Bellamy takes advantage. And that's the risk of bringing up your stopper into the offense. If you can't cover back quickly on a turnover, it's an easy three points. When do you know when to bring the stopper up and when to keep him home? Yeah, I mean, if you're running your half-court offense, a lot of times it's effective bringing the stopper up, but he's got to know when to get back. He's got to read that. Tyquan Scott couldn't get that one put in by Dean for two more. Is your thought process kind of it's a fast break, stop or stay back if we're setting an offense, come on up? 100%. Bellamy cutting and the stopper wasn't ready. Boys saw up by four here in the second quarter. Dean looking for an alley-oop and that is gobbled up by Scott. Amazing stop by Ty Scott right there. Then he just killed the bounce of Tippins Hill. Bakari Copeland covering back again. Back-to-back -back dunks for Ralph Bellamy. Now, you've got to think, Bakari Copeland was injured for a while. Now he's coming back, playing his first game, and throwing him back at stopper down there. I mean, that's a timing-based position. You need reps. Tamiron Fields would not be denied. Three points as the Rumble down by four. Under a minute to play here in this first half. Howard pushed in the back. And that's an automatic two points for the buzzsaw in the bonus. Yeah, you just, it's its hard to do sometimes because you want to play great defense, but as soon as they get around that four point line and they're going to the slam zone, you got to let them go. You got to lay up. Howard, they let him go into the slam zone. Settles on the island. And a bounce violation. You got to release the ball. Coach, we talked about it earlier, how you can help your stopper. When guys are cutting all the time, it's the outside perimeter defense's job to kind of get them, bump them a little bit, and get them off track so they can't make clean cuts to the basket. That's exactly right. So many of these offenses are timing based, so you don't need to keep them out for long. All you need to do is tramp the knife for just a couple of seconds. Tippins Hill couldn't finish. Five seconds to play here in this first half. Bellamy, what's he got? Oh, he's got a lot for you. Watch out. Ralph Bellamy finished leading all scores in that first half with 18 points. And the Buzzsaw take a nine point lead into the locker room at the half. There's Bellamy, three of his 18 to lead the Buzzsaw at the half. We are back, nighttime here in Las Vegas, including tonight. Just three nights remaining here in the regular season at the half. It's the Buzzsaw, second place team with a 43-34 lead alongside John Dornbosch, Brendan Kirsch, I'm John Triffin. The Rumble, their backs are against the wall. In last place, Coach, they need this win to stay alive. They absolutely do. And you saw when they went down early, the energy level, they lifted it up. They know what's on the line. You can absolutely tell that. They've got to keep that energy high, and they look to attack the rim with, from within the slam zone, which is something that they've not done a lot this season. Well, J.D., for the buzzsaw, it was Ralph Bellamy leading all scores with 18 points. He was something to watch in that first half. Bell Bellamy was on fire. He did what he wanted when he wanted. 
He, he goes to the rim with authority. Two hands on the ball saying, stop her, not today. He's been fun to watch, but I'll tell you this, he's got to keep that momentum coming here into the third quarter if he wants to bring home a victory. Now, there's still a lot on the line for the buzzsaw. They have not locked up that second place seed. And if you come in first or second, you get a first round bye. Let's take a look at our first half stats presented by Circa Resort and Casino. Coach, what numbers stand out for you the most on the first half stats with the buzzsaw with a lead? Yeah, you know what? I don't think it's about the numbers, to be completely honest with you, John. I just think it's about the energy level and the competitiveness out on the floor. The buzzsaw, we, they were our practice partners in camp, and I'm telling you right now, we've seen them play a lot of slam ball. They are ready to play this game. There's no doubt. Those halftime stats presented by Circa Resorts. Download the Circa Sports app today. What needs to change for the Rumble to get the win here tonight? Well, it all starts with defense. And to Myrick Fields or whoever is back at stopper, they've got to start cleaning it up just a little bit because the buzzsaw have been attacking him nonstop. And then get it out and get it going on offense from there. Taylor, Kalen Tippins Hill with a quick dunk. He's now in double figures. He's got 12 points. <laughs> Howard looking for cutters, will bounce it down and wiped out. Tamirik feels now the stopper for the rumble, caused that turnover and a block by Tyquan Scott. If you're Ty Scott and you're any good stopper, that's exactly what you want. You want somebody coming at you one on one because it's the easiest thing to clean up. Bellamy, the big bounce down, settles on that island. Seven seconds. Howard gets to Bellamy and he can't finish at the rim. Just a six-point lead for the buzzsaw. On the outside, Washington enters the scoring bed. Throws up a jumper and nails it. That's good for two. You know, the lefty jump shot just looks so much better. Hey, and two, I mean, as a coach, we'll take two all every single time. You know, you'd prefer to have three, but we'll take two on every possession. Barnes gets the stopper out of position. And he's bumped. A push in the back, and that's going to be a violation against Tamirik Fields. That'll force a face-off. Jamal Barnes Jr. against Tamirik Fields. JD, who are you going with? Tamirik Fields looks like he's getting a little frustrated, whether it's at himself, the refereeing, whatever it is. So I think he's got a little uh, vindictive attitude right now. I'm saying I'm going Fields. You going Fields? Coach? I'm going Fields also, only because Jamal Barnes is going from the side bed, and that's a much harder dunk to make. I got to be the contrarian. I'm going with Barnes. Oh, you guys got me. Tamara Fields did a great job right there. You see patience, and what I love about this game, it's not just patience on the tramp. It's patience in midair. Your hand control, your body control. That was a great job by Fields. All right, you, you pointed it out going from the side. Why does that change things on the face-off? Well, it's just not a higher percentage attack than the top bed. The top bed is closer to the rim. Do you let any of your mob players take a face off from the side? Uh, they can if they want, but none of them want to. I mean, it's their call on where they take the face off from. Fields. And a big reason for that, John, too, is because we're scared that sometimes the defenders are going to drift, and that's where injuries can happen. Malik Abdul Hawk. Midway through the season, they decided to take him out of the starting lineup, bring him in off the bench because he provides a scoring punch to the second unit, and that's been huge for the buzzsaw. Tippins Hill has to reset. Two seconds, shoot, One shoot, second shoot. on the shot clock, and he doesn't get it off. Shot clock. The lead is up to nine for the buzzsaw. Taylor. Takes it himself, the stopper didn't know who to guard. Yeah, the wing cut popcorn the stopper a little bit, slowed him down just enough for the attack. Easy, easy. go. Here's Copeland, now a gunner. He started this game as a stopper, but two rumble in the bottom bed, turnover. No, it wasn't. Look at it, it was not. It was not, it was not. Now, if you're the buzzsaw here, you're talking about lead extension. You do not want to let down with two minutes left here in the third quarter. 
Bumped going into the tramp, and that's a violation against Copeland in the bonus. Two more points for the buzzsaw. I mean, the last thing you want to do in this situation is just give up easy baskets because of bad mental mistakes. No doubt. It's the fastest way to let a team back in the game. That's two fouls in a row. Four quick points now for the buzzsaw. Yeah, violation points are huge. I mean, that's where we talk about it all the time, how no game is out of reach if you're the team from behind. You can score nine, 12 violation points in one possession. This is Bass freestyle and finds Taylor. And two buzzsaw players in the bottom tramp turnover. Which, coming into this game, the buzzsaw have the most turnovers in the league with 182. And three of the top 10 players in the league with the most turnovers play for the buzzsaw. So keep the ball and score. And they're still in second place. Which is amazing. It is. Imagine it's amazing. how good they would be if they cleaned that up. I think they would challenge the mob. I think they could. I okay. think if there was one team that I say could challenge mom, it would be the buzzsaw. Only because we were practice partners, they know us very well, and Coach Hernando Planels and Sandy Fletcher are exceptional coaches. Face off time, and Tamirik Fields wins that battle. You can see Tamirik Fields, he's got a little chip on his shoulder. He's had a few calls against him that he hasn't been happy with, and he's got a little attitude with himself right now, and he is bringing it. Tippins Hill, bouncing with Scott. And two in the bottom bed, turnover. Under a minute to play here in this third quarter. Now, if you're the Rumble, you've got to slow down the Buzzsaw's offense right here. They do call the travel against Bass. Let's see if the Rumble can close the gap under 30 seconds here in this third quarter. You can cut it to 10 here, that'd be huge. 10 seconds. Tippin' Sill. On the shot clock, he's got to get it up off the side of the backboard. Williams still has time. Three shot seconds clock. on the shot clock. Right. Tippin' Sill bails him out. Eight seconds to play in the quarter. Abdul Hawk scanning the court. He sees the clock. He knows he's got to get it up. He's fouled. No, wait, they don't call it. No, he dribbled. And so even on a shot after you dribble, you're completely open to be blown up in the open floor. And John, he got lit up. That's the best rule of slam ball right there. Tippins Hill, that huge bucket gets them to within 10. It's a manageable deficit. One more quarter to play. Listen, they got they got guys on the island. Jump into them on the island, all right? Come on, Jamal. Come on, Jamal. Ugh, he's tired. Come on, Jace. Go to work, babe. Let's go. Then you wait, and then you go. One more quarter to play here in Vegas as the Rumble find themselves down by 10. They need this win to try to get into the playoffs alongside John Dornboss, Brendan Kirsch, and John Trippin. You can hit the player as soon as they put the ball down on the floor. Shot clock's out, one, and Benton Barnes Jr. beats it with a jam. Great wing cut right there, got the bounce differential. Illegal contact, you can't hit the player from behind. So we're going to have a face-off. Victorious Dean out of San Diego, California, will go one-on-one -on -one against Jamal Barnes Jr. out of L.A. A little SoCal battle coming up. And, Coach, you talked about this earlier, the advantage it puts. Now they're going to be in violation points from here on out. Correct? That's exactly right. There goes Dean from the wing. And he jumped to the side of Barnes. And you see that drift right there? That's not Jamal's fault. He's not used to coming from that side bed, but that's the threat when you come from the side. Injuries can happen if guys drift like that. That's another reason why we like going from the top. Knock it down, knock it down, knock it down. Dean, his bounce was killed by Scott. Buzzsaw up by 10. You're not allowed to stand on that part of the island, and they call it. No reset. You have to throw it against the wall. So a turnover. Rumble right there ran a little bit of their offense from back in the day. Attacked off the wing cut. And if it wasn't there, kicked it to the opposite sideline. Howard, and he posed on him. Barnes Jr. letting him know. Yeah. 
Tempins Hill pushing himself up, so that is not a bucket. He hung on the rim to throw it down. They wave it off. Yeah, great call right there by Rob Wilson, but that's something you always have to be cognizant of when you're playing the Rumble, is every time they put a shot up from outside, they're sneaking a cutter in there for a tip run. Howard in attack mode. Resets off the wall underneath the bucket. Junior coming through, Barnes Jr. And he's talking trash to Fields. That's 21 on the night for Barnes Jr. We still got 320 to play. This is danger zone for the Rumble. They got to make something happen quick if they want to get this win tonight. They find themselves in last place outside looking into the playoff picture. And a shot clock violation. I mean, not having awareness of the shot clock and getting turnovers because of that at this stage of the game, it's definitely not going to help Rumble. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. The Rumble is going to have to pick up their play right now, really, really pressure the ball. They cannot allow uh, full shot clocks to be run by the buzz. Howard just knifing through the defense. Two more. Fields. The outside shot from Washington. The four-pointer off the mark. Tracks down the rebound, he'll take another four. Left that one short. Washington is an amazing shooter, played uh, back college basketball at Wake Forest. Dangerous player right there for the Rumble. He was a three-star commit coming out of high school. Yeah, he was. Howard jams it in. And the Rumble find themselves down by 21. Tip and tail, couldn't throw it in. The fight for the ball falls on top of it. Scott again with the block, Tippins Hill couldn't jam it. And that just sums up the night for the Rumble, but staying with it is Williams for the two. They counted a three, excuse me. Yeah, no doubt. That's one of the biggest problems of going down this big against a team with a really good stopper. It's hard to overcome a 20-point deficit when you've got a guy like Ty Scott back there. When you've got a big lead like this, what what then is the strategy? Because the mob, you've been in it pretty much every game. We have. I mean, we'll still we'll still go 100% because when you stop doing that, that's when injuries happen. But we will run more shot clock. We'll try to run the full 20 seconds off the shot clock within our offense and then see if we can get a good shot there. If you're the buzzsaw, you don't want to be giving up free points like giving up a foul. In the bonus, Rumble get two points. The clock continues to tick. We approach a minute to play in this game. Copeland from four. And the Rumble, they're just throwing up prayers right now. Williams, still calling for it, enters the tramp from the wing, bouncing down with Scott. Three seconds on the shot clock. Dean, he'll hoist one. And the buzzsaw, they are going to eat all 20 seconds of this shot clock. So Hernando Pinellas Jr. actually called for a timeout there as he wants his guys to reset. Where's the ball going to be? Now listen, 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 Malik Ray, here, listen. Wait, so let me ask you a question. Listen. You're up, Mike. Here we go. Jace, you're going to inbound the ball. Ray and Malik. Ray, I want you to come over here. I, I want this pass. Fake this way, make this pass. Malik, OK? Boom. Ray in the tramp. Boom. Get it, Tim. All right. Hey, you want your practice y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, finish on three. One, two, three. Finish. And, and Brendan, you called it. Even though you have this big lead, Hernando Planels Jr. is still coaching his guys hard. Yeah, and I'll tell you, that's a brilliant move, too, because they play in the very next game. And calling a timeout right there, it also gets his players just a little bit of extra rest before the back to back. Under 30 seconds to play in the game. Abdul Hawk, and that's what they drew up out of that timeout. Beautifully executed right there. Shot clock turned off. The buzz saw can just hold the ball. But Taylor. Say, nah, we're going to keep going. They're we're going to run it up. Pad their stats now. <laughs> And the buzzsaw with a 75-53 win. They move to eight 
and four on the season, holding down second place. They also advance into the main event as they'll take on the Slashers coming up next. Player of the game, Jamal Barnes Jr. is with Sean Inches Jackson. Oh, hey, wonderful game, man, between you, Bellamy. You got 21 points, awesome game. You made the spot, man. How do you feel today? Uh, we feel good. Uh, me and Ralph, we've been talking. We're in the same house, so we've been talking. We haven't had a game where it's just us two on, and so we, our, our emphasis today was just let, let's both be on. Let's see what we can do when, when we're both going. So that's what, what the emphasis with today, and then you, you see what the result is. Hey, man, wonderful. Hey, the job that you do, the skills that you have, Tell me about the, the way you play. I mean, you know, your father, I used to play yeah. with your dad, yep. you know, back yep. in the day, and I see the resemblance of you and your dad. So yes, tell me about your game. Yeah, my game, uh, I just come out here and try to put 100% into everything you do. You see, I'm 100% running, diving on the floor. So I just try to come out here and, and be the energy man for my team. Uh, I had three bad games in terms of scoring and all that, so I felt it. I took it personal. So, you know, I had to do something today. I had to show him that I'm still here and I'm still going to make some noise. Congratulations, hey, my man. Hey, shout out my brother. He doesn't like when I do interviews. Hey, shout out Don't Panic and Parlay. I love y'all. There you go, Buzz. <laughs> <You're out. laughs> Got to get that shout out in. Buzzsaw holding down the second place spot. As we get ready to set up the main event, Buzzsaw led by Jamal Barnes Jr., 21 points. Ralph Bellamy, he pitched in 18 points as the Buzzsaw pulled away in the fourth.